Recently I started to work on a new AR project, which I'm excited, excited to, to share on this channel. And I also would like to share the progress and everything that belongs to it. And um, I also share the code. I will share the repository. You see the link in the description. I will also post the links to the test flight and Google Play um, test test link. Yeah, I'll post the test links so you can check it out. And um, so it's about firefighters. I will come to this in a second. Why? And um, I found this really amazing app uh, a while ago. It's called Civilization AR. Let me put myself a bit smaller. Um, it's a really cool project from BBC together with around 50 museums where they scanned uh, loads of uh, models or loads of um, artifacts from ancient Egypt and you can lo look at them in, in the app which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you a quick demo. Um, let me get the sound here. Try and touch the screen until the circle is full. So you scan the surface like in any yeah, most of the AR apps. Then you you place a globe. Welcome to the world of civilizations. Explore the and you can history's ancient treasures. Select. Yeah, the app hasn't been updated since four years. It's still running very, very good. Um yeah, unfortunately, there's this little uh, bug in the background in the camera when you move too fast, it like lags a bit. But yeah, they've done a really nice job with animation, with sound design, and yeah, the whole U uh, UI is really done really nice. Um, yeah, you basically can uh, select an object here, and then it's placed right in front of you, and then you have different, let me put this into the middle here. You can read the text. You can move it around, rotate it, move it up and down. You even have this nice shadow to, to mimic a bit more the realistic that is like placed in your room. That's pretty cool. You can listen to information. Some text, not the mummified boy's real name, but the name of a pharaoh who lived on time of his death. The mummy's next wait and seat. And another cool function is, ah, oh, you can take pictures, take pictures and the, uh, like a screenshot, you can, yeah, take pictures and it, it looks like a screenshot and it's stored to your app, uh, to your phone uh, storage. This is also really nice, you can look at the inside and like every way in the app they've done a really good job on the sound design as well. So. Uh, pretty neat. Then what else? Yeah, you can select other objects, look inside, whatever, listen to information. This is also nice, you can disable the AR mode and you can just look at it in, um, yeah, like a, without the AR aspect, which is also pretty useful. Maybe you don't have the light or you don't want to hold up the, the phone all the time. It can be also exhausting. Yeah, they've done a really nice job on, on animations, like when you open something, it's, it rotates and stuff like this. So yeah, uh, I found this and what I wanted to do is I wanted to replicate this app, but with instead of the globe, I want to put there a fire truck. Why? Because um, I since, since a year, I'm since here I'm I'm a firefighter, a volunteer firefighter here in Switzerland, and I've had a hard time like knowing where stuff is in in the fire truck, know where the equipment is, what the equipment is called, what the equipment is for, because I live in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, so um, and because it's not my native language, it's like uh, it's been really hard to learn all those those tools. And so I thought, why not creating this app that 
allows this to be more accessible. And I've already started the project. Um, I created a test flight and Google Play beta, um, which I soon will be, I'll soon re receive the link because it's in review. Um, I've already have a, let me open this. I already have a, a scan of the model. I used Polycam to create a raw 3D model of uh, one of the trucks. And I sent it to to a guy on Fiverr to, um, to do a retopology, to fix the mesh, to fix the texture. I'm really looking forward to, to, um, to review that or to see the result. And um, yeah, so what I've done already, I've set up this Unity project here in Unity and I'm using AR Foundation, uh, which is uh, combined or which is incorporating ARKit and ARCore. I will make a separate video about how to set it up and everything. Uh, or maybe not like the simple steps how how I I set it up I, I used other tutorials with, which I can link in the description um, this video is just about teasering the project telling you what uh, I plan to do so the current state of the project here in, in the in the in the debugger I can I can also test it but I actually sh uh, recorded a I recorded a video that I can show. Close this. Doesn't have any fancy sound design yet, but um, yeah. So when you start the app, you you can scan the floor. You see some dots that indicate a, a surface. You can place the truck. You can scale it, and you can rotate it. You can also see the the environment occlusion here, which is done with a uh, uh, works out of the box with the AR occlusion manager, which is pretty nice. And yes, yeah, you can look at the truck. It's not perfectly the, this model, of course. Um, and then for simplicity, for first prototype, I. I added those those blue dots that you can select, and then you simply see this um, see this model. You can look around, you can walk around, and uh, look at it. So yeah, and uh, yeah, there's still some issues with with moving up and down. You also have the hose. Yeah, like this is the the first um, the first version, the first version that you can look at something, and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this project. Uh, I would like to share it with the community so people can learn with me uh, along the way. I've created uh, a GitLab repository. I have uh, an issue board here with all of the issues that I'm, I'm working on. Um, go check it out if you're interested. You're also allowed to, to look at the code. You can also do merge requests if you, if you want. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this project and I'm looking forward to, to, um, to your comments. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, I'm, I'm going to try my best to, to answer them. I'm also looking forward to make more videos about the, the air navigation project, 3D scans and, uh, and stuff like this. Um, I just didn't have many resources recently to, to work on this. So I'm, I'm trying more now to, to get back into this uh, exciting thing, into the, this exciting project. So hope to see you around and have a good one.